Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Recess. It's Chris and Abed here, and this is day three of our Carnival Mardi Gras cruise. Today we're at Margaritaville Beach Resort. Yeah, we're in Nassau, so Nassau's our first stop in the Bahamas uh, before we hit up the Dominican Republic, and then uh, Grand Turk is our last port of call. So Nassau's our first stop, we're here at Margaritaville, let's go check it out. Let's go. Good morning everyone. So we're here by the Java Blue Cafe. We just got some breakfast sandwiches. Uh, really convenient grab and go option. Um, you don't want to mess with the Lido buffet in the morning. Um, this is much faster. So I got a sausage, egg and cheese sandwich on an English muffin. The bed got a bacon, egg and cheese. So they toast them fresh for you. The breakfast sandwich and it's good. So. Good way to start out the day before we go out to Nassau. Uh, this is just a great option in the morning. It looks already 10 times better than anything they serve in the buffet, even though it's pretty much the same food. All right, this is the crew. We're going on our excursion here at Nassau. Yeah. yeah. Dang, look at this. That's crazy. Our boat is so huge. big. We just got off the Carnival Mardi Gras here at Nassau. Got our first port of call. And I think we're gonna head to the Margaritaville Beach Resort for a little day pass action. Had some last minute plans change. We were gonna do Atlantis, but uh, you know, just go with the flow, just like yeah. the sea. Atlantis is really expensive also. If you're not familiar, day pass there runs about $190 on a cheap day. I think it can go as high as like 250, depending on the time of year. So it's not cheap to do that excursion. Plus we have to be back on the ship by 3.30, so. The group really just wanted to go to the beach, so yeah, it was a, a pretty close resort. And you're only getting yeah, probably around four hours uh, at Atlantis. Um, yeah, once whether, everything opens. Yeah, and it's kind of expensive just to pay for the beach if that's all you want to do. Yeah, so we're going to go check out Margaritaville. It's a new resort here in Nassau. Heard, heard some good things. Um, I think it's right where the old British Colonial Hilton was. And we've been there before, and that beach was really nice, so fingers crossed. Yeah, I guess we're, we'll find out soon. I Chris out. heard good things. I heard great things. Okay. Well, I heard excellent things. I heard amazing things. It is funny. We are docked next to the Carnival Elation, and oh, the it looks like ship. a toy ship compared to the Mardi Gras. The little baby ship. Oh, a pirate ship is back. Remember we saw that back in November when we were here? Oh, yeah. Pirate ship. And also, the, the walk to the port from the dock isn't too long, so that's nice. Yeah, actually, there does look. There seems to be a little more progress. Yeah, this port is always. They're working on the other side. Here. We are walking to Margaritaville Resort, and when you get out of the port, just turn right, head down towards Senior Frogs, and you know you're going in the right direction. When you get to Senior Frogs, just keep walking. The street actually curves, uh, so you'll just keep walking down. Just follow the path forward. So, and yes, that wasn't a long walk. We're already here. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's hot. Very hot and humid. Good morning. Good, how are you? With your day pass, you do get access to the beach. You also get access to the pool. Uh, it is not all inclusive, so if you do want to drink, there's bars outside, also the Latitude Bar, uh, which is inside the resort. The Margaritaville Resort also has a store, but uh, as you would expect it, all Margaritaville themed merchandise. When you get to Margaritaville Resort, uh, facing the building, go right around the building. There's actually a ticketing center and then an outdoor entrance for Fins Up, uh, which is the water resort. So when you come in, you can go in through the hotel, but I think they want you to go around if you're just a guest, if you're just doing a day pass. So just walk around, again, turn right when you get to the building and it's uh, right around the corner. You'll be able to pick up tickets and then also enter uh, through the outdoor entrance.
It's actually a pretty sh small beach here, but you do get it. It's a private beach, private beach access. Looks like they've got some flotation toys in the water. The water is really cool. The beach is nice. The pools are clean. Facilities new. Uh, it's not bad. About 80 bucks per person. They turned on the surf machine! Surf's up! Alright, so Lazy River, it's raining, but you're in paradise. I like it, yeah. Nothing like a rainy day in a lazy river. But I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, y'all, sorry about the sound. We don't have mics and it's raining. So who knows how this footage will come out. But, but I mean, you're still going to have fun. Oh, yeah. Woo! This is fun. Okay, the weather's getting a little better. It was uh, a bit rocky at first. But we're in the lazy river, just loading along. Yes. How's it going? People can jump off this platform. They also have rides. Small of stuff over here. The Margaritaville Resort here in Nassau also has an infinity pool and a spa. Uh, to get to it, find the surf area, the surfing machine. You gotta go up some stairs, but it's absolutely beautiful up here. All right, I got the Don't Stop the Carnival. We're on a carnival cruise, and we're here at Margaritaville uh, Resort in Nassau, Bahamas, so I thought it was fitting. This is really refreshing. It does melt quickly. It's super hot. I tried to get as much footage as I could. Uh, you can't come to Margaritaville and not order a margarita, and they did not disappoint. Um, this is absolutely, absolutely de delicious. It's fruity. It's got strawberry mango in here. Uh, the silver rum is really good. And you don't taste it, even though there's actually quite a quite a lot of rum in this drink. So if you come here, definitely check it out. All right, so I got the Havana's and bananas, and it's a uh, rum-based drink with banana puree. Um, I think some other things, but it's kind of reminiscent of a pina colada, but with banana. I think it has some Bailey's Irish cream in it as well. Um, it's really, really good. You can't really taste the alcohol, which is nice. It's uh, nice and cold. Today's kind of hot, so yeah. Hopefully, this uh, this gets us on our way to feeling good today. The water feels amazing. It is kind of cold when you first get in. Everybody, how's the water, Chris? The water is wonderful. Look at it. It's like nice and clear. It's cool. It feels great. Yeah, it's definitely warmed up because it was kind of cold when we first got here. Yeah, but not anymore. It's definitely warmed up now. Yeah, wear your sunblock, people. I see a lot of people burned up. I'm about to start getting burned. I gotta go reapply. reapply. Outside the Margaritaville Resort here at Nassau, Bahamas, is a cool pier. Doesn't look like any of the shops are open at the moment, but uh, looks like potentially there's vendors here. There are some shops that kind of surround the property, but uh, the view here, uh, especially from the beach, but also from this dock area, is just amazing. You can see other other boats are docking and all the cruise lines that are currently at port. All right, y'all. What'd you think of Margaritaville? It was nice. I liked it. It was chill. It was amazing. I Beautiful. loved it. Beautiful. Yeah. I would come again. Highly recommend. I think that's the right speed for our first port. Yeah. Got yeah. burnt, though. Not too many people. <laughs> yeah. On that note, apply sunscreen. Reapply throughout the day. Multiple times. On yes. Did you like it? I loved it. Yeah, it was it's a beautiful so day. Fun. The Elder Council, uh, which is actually our parents, uh, decided that they did not want to go. It was too early for them. They were out partying, I guess, on the fun ship, on the Mardi Gras. So they stayed behind. Uh, they slept in. They couldn't get up with us. But that's okay. We'll catch up with them, probably have dinner. So we're walking back right now. It's not a bad walk. It is hot. It is so hot. We're back from Margaritaville, shower changed, grabbed a little snack. We're gonna have Chibang tonight. But first, it's time for Fortune Teller Bar. Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo! So excited!
excited! Oh, yeah. Yeah! Woo! All right, let's go. We're fortune teller bar. Fortune teller bar. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Rough. You can't rely on elevators on this ship, so... Take the stairs! Take the stairs, all right. To the left. To the left. <laughs> hey, hey! The rest of the crew! Hello! Oh my god! We got golden galaxies, we got crystal balls, we got abracadabras here at Fortune Teller Bar. The bartenders here are amazing, they're working so hard. We hit them with so many drinks, but they're taking care of us. Thank you so much. Golden galaxies. Wow. Abracadabra to change the color of the drink. Abracadabra. Yay! Oh, we are able to change the color. Thank you very much. Under red, under red. Make a wish. Make a wish. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna be. Sir? The abracadabra is really good. It's Bacardi Superior, pineapple and lime juice. And it was really neat. You add, I'm assuming the lime juice creates a reaction and changes the color of your martini, of your drink here at Fortune Teller Bar. Cheers. I just ordered the pod juice that has those green bubbles, which I don't know what they are. Next. Uh, I got the crystal ball. Uh, it was pretty cool. They did a little bubble with smoke on it. You get to pop it and make a wish. Um, it tastes like a margarita slash Mexican martini. It's good. Okay, I'd get it again. Okay, well, I got the crystal ball and let's give it a go. It is similar to a Mexican martini and a margarita. Of course, those are the same shit. So you liked it? I'm awkward as well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I loved it actually. So I ordered the abracadabra and I would order it again. It's fruity, which is up my alley. It's sweet but not too sweet. And it was fun. I got to pour some juice in that changed the color. And before you pour, you say abracadabra. So it was really an interactive experience and I enjoyed it. As a scientist, what do you think of the entire experience? It, it was cute. I liked it. Right. I would come again. Cool. The sentiment here on Mardi Gras is that shipping is kind of a miss. Uh, it really depends on what you order and when you go. I mean, the staff is great. They're working hard, but yeah. the food is just kind of eh. It's weird. The concept is half Mexican, half uh, Chinese food. So the menu's broken up into those two sides, and you can order off either one. Um, you know, when you hear shipping, you kind of think, oh, it's going to be Mexican-Chinese fusion. But it's not, it's just separated and it's kind of disjointed. The whole concept of the restaurant is weird. The right. food is okay. Um, it's not, it wasn't our favorite meal on the boat. Um, but yeah, if you really love Chibay, comment down below and tell us what you love about it. This was our first time eating here, so uh, maybe we'll give it another shot. Yeah, Carnival, you know, just FYI, no one asked for this. <laughs> we love Gigi's. Justice just for Gigi's. I mean, Chibang is kind of neat. It's an open concept kitchen too, so you can actually see the chefs cooking, which is nice. Uh, that's the only restaurant that you can see that here on the Mardi Gras, but again, like, from the food quality to the concept of the restaurant, it's super crowded all the time and it's a little hard to get into. Uh, but that also may be due to the fact that this restaurant is still free and included. Um, I don't think that'll be the case in the future, but as for right now, because this is the inaugural Mardi Gras sailings, uh, the first year or two, I think they're keeping the specialty restaurants included. So, if you already, please like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. We're a brand new channel here on YouTube, and any love that you can give us is greatly appreciated. Yeah, and make sure to ring that notification bell as well so you can stay up to date on all of our new recesses that we post. We have a lot more stuff coming up, so stay tuned.